Hello, and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon playthrough with me. Here's your mom, pal. Um, second time trying to commentate over this. Um, it, it's, it's nobody's fault. You know, I just had a mail truck come up, and UPS just dropped off the package. Uh, those guys, those guys are putting into work uh, during this time. That's for sure. Didn't miss much. I, I just had like some kind of you know wacky intro. But yeah, we're actually going to the like the final true hub world of the game, Dreamweavers. Because uh, the the final boss's hub world is it, it works a little bit differently than a regular hub world. And this one might look a little confusing, but it's really not all that big. Despite me making mistakes. Now, funny enough, if you actually do everything up to this point, uh, you can actually completely skip the sub world and go straight to the final boss. It's a uh, hub world. Which I may or may not have originally done when I beat this game. Plot twist, I actually did. So we got some wacky stuff going on here. In this magical kingdom of sorts. These islands in disguise. This is the greatest part of Spider of the Dragon, by the way. <laughs> I'm kind of interested in just playing the Reunited Trilogy just for that alone. Those guys... Those are le those guys. Those guys are legends. Uh, and we only have three hundred treasures here too to worry about for the hub world. Oh, this guy's pretty cool too. Welcome to the Dreamweavers, young one. While chasing Nasty's minions in this world, you must expect the unexpected and prepare for what is not there. AKA magic. So, uh, but yeah, going back to one of my previous statements, I kind of skipped Dreamweavers originally when I beat the game for the first time. So, I'm kind of really unfamiliar with a lot of the Dreamweavers stuff. So, this should be really interesting. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna see a lot more mistakes, more so than usual. I'll just put it that way. Um, we do have a few jump cuts as well. Uh, some silly, some not so silly. <laughs> I'm kind of kind of curious if the developers actually did those voices, or they actually like hire a voice actor for that. I don't know. Maybe it's Tom Kenny. That sounds like the uh, the boss of the hub world here. Nice job collecting so much stone and trap. Gosh, this world is not the most. Stay here. Poor guy. <laughs> he can't get, he can't finish a sentence with fire around. So, I mean, there, there, there's, there's, a, there's a small gimmick going on. We got this guy over here shooting his magic ray cannon and turning into enemies into monsters. Monsters of sorts, one could say. And that's actually how we're going to get past those two guys. We got to turn them into smaller, more vulnerable people. like that. bit. I, re uh, I remember when I recorded this. Um, I'm like, Spyro's movement feels a little funny. And then I realized I've been using the, the joystick. Um, I, I normally uh, been playing Spyro with the D-pad. I'm like, oh, no wonder it's been, been so weird. I've been using the joystick. 
analog stick. Also, you can never kill these guys uh, because they are important to this puzzle. So I don't think uh, there's some gimmick to try to get some treasure from them. They just they they're unkillable. Killable. Guys, uh, they make funny noises. It's just about there. It's 300 treasure total in this level. Uh, that looks like our flight level. Height here. Hello, Spyro. Hello. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. Oh, heavens. Such a violent is a young creature. Me too, buddy. Me too. That's how I feel too. The fools you see in this world are invincible, but they that are. does not mean they shouldn't be attacked. Sounds all right to me. I want a a blood a bloodthirsty. water but if it's okay you do you know Spyro doesn't like to swim but you know you do have to bathe uh thank you snoop help yeah uh, I was a dummy and I completely forgot about these right here but hey that means we got 300. And we're going to tackle Haunted Towers first. Now this one has a bit of a... Uh, bit of a weird thing to 100%. But it also has a pretty cool gimmick. So these night guys, you can't kill them unless you get super fire. Which we've seen them before if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we've seen them before. Where you, you get kissed by the fairy. Which we can find one over here. Also, these doors you can just break open. Which I don't think has come up yet before, if I'm not mistaken. So it can be it can be a little confusing. Like I can imagine some places like, well, well, how am I supposed to open this, or is this even passable? And it is. I reckon uh, he can, he can, he can uh, destroy the doors. No treasure from the door, though.
Yeah, be careful. Those guys, uh, they will smack you. And, uh, they can flatten you. They are the knights of, of Haunted Towers. So, anything of, uh, recent? Well, um, the package I just mentioned earlier, um, is actually a new PS3. Well, not a new, it's a used PS3. It's, a uh, Newer model than my, what I have because I have like um, the PS3 I mentioned before. Uh, it's like one of the older, fatter models, uh, not the one that played PS2 games. Like it was like literally the one after that that didn't do PS3 or PS3 PS2 support. Uh, uh, this is the, the the one I got through the mail is a like the second model version. So. Uh, Possibly be able to play PS3 discs once again, which will be really nice Because I've been itching for that for a while and um, That opens up some possibilities, but I gotta make sure it, it, it actually the world work hey, Oh god, that guy was in her face dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss See what it can do to your power of flame. I get kisses all the time, so I I'm not crazy But uh, yeah, so hopefully the PS3 works out all right, and if not then um it wasn't too expensive. And, um, I could just use it as, uh, you know, just for digital games. So, no biggie. I always gotta look at the brighter side of things. I got mixed up by that bridge. I oh, see, so yes, these guys have grenades. They, ju they just do. Long green treasure over here. Well, it's not long because it counts as two, but it's still one single object, even though it does count as two, but it's only one. Just like how this one is one, but it's ten. Currency, am I right? Thank you, Miss Fairy. Spyro must really like those fairy kisses. Those magical fairy kisses. Yeah, and then these uh, chests we see here have keyholes, so you do have to somehow get souped up Spyro over there. It's gonna take a little bit. Um, well, nothing really much else um uh, has been going on. Um. Uh, my birthday, it, it was, it was alright. It's, um, like, honestly, I, I'm gonna go after, um, I'm going today to do more of the celebration, but, uh, my actual birthday, the day of my birthday, I just worked. I actually worked twice in one day, because the way my shifts work is funny. Um, and I gotta say, I don't really feel... Much different or much of anything like honestly it just felt like another birthday to me uh, and just throw it I mean I'm, I'm 30 I, I turned 30 and I was I don't know I, I had this feeling that you know when it got closer to was like oh it's 30 you know it's probably gonna be a big year for me there you go 3-0 I'm leaving my 20s but Honestly, it just came and went. Maybe if I was in a different position, maybe, I don't, I don't know. But it just felt like another birthday, which for the past few years, it's just been another day. I don't know, maybe when I hit 40, maybe that's when I'll feel, you know, feel the big, oh my god. But for 30, it, I don't know. With 30 to me, I, I, I just feel like... Like, I make the joke about me being old a lot. But no, in all actuality, you know, 30 is not old. You can, you know, a lot of people do great things in their 30s, you know, regardless. Heck, I think uh, throughout history, I think a lot more people have done things in their 30s than they have in their 20s. Hold your horns. Here oh, no. comes Spyro. 
Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Nasty Nork. What a nasty man. <laughs> nasty Nork is. I like these nice dance. They, they, they're, they, they're getting boogie down. But yeah, uh, I'm pro I might be wrong about that statement I made about uh, the more people has done greater things in the third or people have done great or, people had done great things in their thirties rather than their twenties. Um, but uh, what I'm trying to say is. 30s, I, I feel actually just about the same as I do 20s. If anything, in my opinion, with the way things are going in my life, I feel like I'm going to be doing better in my 30s than I did in my 20s. Just because of where I am compared to... Just, just where I'm at right now in my 30s compared to where I was at in my 20s, especially the early 20s. If I only have win the lottery so I don't have to ever work again. That's that's the biggest thing. If I can win the lottery, I would open up so much free time. It's funny. I, more like the only reason I really truly want to win the lottery is just to be able to have enough money to where I don't have to work anymore and just be comfortable. I don't want, you know, the fanciest things in the world. Yeah, I, I want to... You know, get the latest video game. I want to. I want to. I want a comfortable house. I want a comfortable car. I want to be. I want to be. I want to be comfortable. Nothing extravagant. I don't need like billions upon billions of dollars. Just a couple million. <laughs> like I said, I like you know honestly, if I can live to where my bills are paid and I have enough for food. Thank you, Snoop Dogg. And, uh... And just, 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 you know, just enough for entertainment. And, and I, I, I want to win the lottery. Thank you, Spyro. Uh, thank, thank you, Spyro. Thank you, Snoop Dogg. Yeah, we got a bit of jump cuts here. But what I'm trying to say is... The number one reason for me winning the lottery is just having so much free time. I can hang out with friends. I can hang out with family more. I can buy some tasty sandwiches. Also, oh, it's kind of funny that the uh, the livestock you could get for sparse here is mushrooms. Magic mushrooms. Alright, so I think this is where things start to get a little iffy. So, there's this island over there, or this plateau, or whatever you want to call it, some sort of landmass. And, uh, you can get over there, and that's where the rest of the treasures and uh, another dragon is at. But to get there is a little confusing. And honestly, it might be more confusing than treetops. What I just demonstrated there is not the way you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do this. Never mind, you're not supposed to do that. So let's do that right this time. Right, here he goes. Now, thankfully, the walls do give you a little leeway. Yep, this is what you're supposed to do. Well, I guess it's not as tricky. Maybe. I don't know. But here, here we got uh, the last track another level. Cool You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. Great work. Now get off my lawn. Alright. So next we got a little puzzle here with the knights. So the trick here is you want to outmaneuver them before they all set up 
Because on the very top of it, you got a knight that blocks your wet path, no matter what you do. As far as I know, I don't think there's, like, no shenanigans you can get past him once he's, uh, refined himself, or once he's guarding. So, you gotta, you basically, you gotta try to outrun everybody. So, I'm gonna demonstrate how to do it the wrong way. And then, I'm gonna show you how to do it the right way. At this point, I didn't know. I, I, I just didn't know. I was just really getting smacked. Just like that. Alright, so this is how you do it the right way. Just like that. I don't know if it's me. I, I, know, I noticed that I've been having some slowdown in the game. At least it seems like a slowdown. I don't know if that was like how it was in the Source game or... Or what? It wasn't my capture device. It was, uh, like I was actually seeing the slowdown on the TV screen and whatnot. Also, uh, this fairy kiss, uh, power up, uh, is permanent. So, that's cool. Can't take it outside the level, which is unfortunate, but hey, you know, it's something to play around with. Don't ever have to worry about it, uh, going away. Good job, Sparks. Collecting those gems like a bro. Like the true dragon fry, dragonfly that you are. Can I get super, super boosted? Can't get this twice in one session. Or one power up. I don't know. I had a joke there at some point. Good stuff. So, that's gonna conclude this part. Um, we are we are pretty close to the end. Getting there. <laughs>